Welcome back, everybody, to the greatest show on earth, and that is the Miami Boat Ranch channel. I am your host, Broncos Guru, in collaboration with our boy Wavy Boats, and it's another Wavy Guru Productions back down here at the ramp, and today we're at Boynton. It looks like we're getting a supply delivery for this boat. Whoa, watch out, Pelican. Better get out the way, bro. And I don't think my man's got the right approach here. He's just a little off. I mean, it's close, for sure. I mean, he's just got to make a few minor adjustments, and this one will probably work. But the guy behind him's like, yeah, bro, I'm not waiting for your adjustments. Get out the way. Now he can have the whole ramp. And my man has full sent it out onto the dock blocker. If you're not familiar with the dock blocker over here at Boynton, that's one of our famous sandbars that, for whatever reason, is just slightly covered up, but everybody likes to hit it. And he's calling to his buddy, who's over here on another ski, and he's saying, yeah, come help me, not realizing that his buddy's going to run onto the same sandbar he's on if he goes over there. Hopefully he's smart enough to be able to stop this just a little bit before the sandbar, or as soon as he feels it hit, like he just hit right there, <laughs> he realizes he needs to get off the throttle and maybe pull this thing back a little bit. So there we go. He's going to realize it real quick. Let me get my ski floating in a little bit of water so I don't get stuck out here as well. But it does appear, yep, he's going to have his girlfriend hold this and he's going to walk over here and give his buddy a hand. And that's still a workout right there. I don't, I mean, that's probably 30 or 40 yards. And carrying a thousand pound ski 30 or 40 yards, dragging it through the sand, it's not a whole lot of fun. Even with two people, it's still not a good time. But one person probably can't do it. Two likely can get the job done. It's just going to take them a little bit of time. And they should be able to pull this one out and get it on out of here now. Everybody always says boating's expensive, but there are cheap ways to get on the water, so don't let cash hold you back. If you want a boat, get out there, guys. And don't be wrong, the boating market's crazy right now. This rig right here is probably about 30 grand. This is an interesting approach. Um, so our guy's backing his dual jet ski trailer down the ramp with the attempt of pulling his jet ski out of the water. But with this paddleboard attached to the trailer, I'm just guessing this is going to float, which is going to make for an interesting backup and retrieval because once it starts floating in the water, it's not really going to have any more control to back this up. I mean, I guess one tire may still be on the ground. I, this one I'm going to have to see. I, I'm not 100% sure how this one's going to turn out because being honest, I've not seen anybody try this attempt yet. I don't know why you would add flotation to a trailer that probably likely almost floats on its own anyway. And let's see how this goes. And yep, <laughs> just as we thought, man, this thing's going to float to one side. And this is going to make for a pretty interesting retrieval of the jet ski, I guess. I mean, I'm assuming my guy's done this before, but this is a new one to me. I've not seen anybody do this. But it's interesting just to watch that this trailer's floating onto one side. I mean, our guy does not seem phased by it, so he's going to go ahead and go for that retrieval with it like that anyway. This just doesn't, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. I'm not sure why he didn't just take that thing off, set it on the bed of the truck, and get a flat trailer to go ahead and retrieve on. I can't imagine when he retrieves this that it's going to land flat on the trailer. I mean, let me know in the comments below if this is something you've seen done before, or if you think this will land flat on the trailer. I just can't imagine with the trailer angled like this, I have to imagine the ski, which is going to be flat on the water, when he pulls this out, it's going to be on an angle. It's not going to be laying flat on the trailer, and he's going to have to adjust that. But he can't just back out and adjust it because it will just refloat sideways again. But as you can see, the ski's flat. The trailer's still at an angle. It's beyond me. Once again, we'll, we'll see what happens when he pulls out. And let's see what the end result's going to be as our guy pulls out here. And... Yeah, I believe he's getting the desired result that we thought he was going to get, which is this thing is not going to land flat on the trailer. But once again, he can't just back this out, so he's going to have to manhandle this thing to get it flat on the trailer because if he just backs up, we're just going to have the same result because the trailer's floating again. So our guy's going to get over here and see what he can do with this. And he's getting it over, but, I mean, you're going to have to get more to the center on this one, bro. I mean, that paddleboard you got there, I'm guessing you're getting up on that thing or that board in the middle of this trailer and trying to pull it from the center. Once again, not really caring too much. Looks like he's popping drain plugs. I mean, I guess in theory he could ride down the road with the ski like this. It's probably not going to do anything. 
yeah, it's not on there straight, bro. <laughs> He's kind of just looking at it like, yeah, okay. I got this one. Oh, there we go. Getting her close. But he's going to step up here. <laughs> he's kind of looking at it. Yeah, there we go. We're just going to stand on the paddle board, and we'll get this one flat this time. And we'll... Well, he's got it. I can't say much. And this is an interesting one. We've seen a couple of these down here at Boynton before. But I'm assuming our guy's going to launch with no trailer. Now, I'm curious what his approach is going to be. I mean, this is apparently a nice Ford F-250, it appears. Is he going to drag this onto the ramp and pull the boat out? Or is he going to just sink the truck? I always find these ones interesting. Um, I mean, a trailer for something like this shouldn't be too expensive. I mean, he's got to manhandle this back into the truck somehow. I don't understand what you do with this when you're not using it as well. I mean, so... We'll see what my man's got in store here. But it's my favorite ones are watching these guys bury the truck. And you know that truck's going to be for sale later. And, you know, it's somebody's about to buy some headaches. But we'll, we'll see what my man decides he's going to do. He's prepping up and getting ready to go for sure. And just waiting for the people behind him. But it doesn't look like we're going to pull this off onto the ramp. He's planning to launch it. And here we go. The vessel behind him is pulling away. And I'm imagining he got back into the cab, so we're going to see this one launched. Um, I just, it always blows my mind. I couldn't imagine taking my truck and burying it over the axles in salt water. Thinking it was a good idea, but we see a lot of people do it, and my man's going for it as well. Oh, man. This is just, I can just see the listing now. Ford F-250, excellent condition. No lowball offers, I know what I got. But man, it's this one always just blows my mind when I watch these people do this. You got to imagine that the $1,000 he would spend on even a jet ski trailer that would haul this would more than compensate for the damage he's doing with the truck buried to the axles in salt water. I could be wrong. Let me know in your comments below. Um, if you think this is, this is the way this should be done, or... If it was you, if you would just spend the $1,000 on the trailer and get it done. I mean, if he can afford the boat, he can afford the truck, he probably can afford the $1,000 on the trailer. But my man's going to pull her out and and get it done. And, I mean, I guess that's the one thing I do have to say about this. I mean, I can't bash it overly because it does get the job done, but it's just, it doesn't seem like a good idea to me. And... My man's loading the trailer, but he's forgot his stern line. So his stern line's attached to his boat as he's trying to pull up. Oh, here we go. We've got a good Samaritan. Hey, and this guy's starting to become a regular in the videos. Um, mad props to him for catching that guy's line because this guy was not even paying attention. He was just going to load without the line. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Miami Boat Ramps. If you did, be sure to check out our other content. We have Wavy Boats, who gets us a bunch of great images down at Hallover Inlet. My channel, Broncos Guru, we do some great comedy boating videos over there as well. And of course, we've got Boats vs. Hallover, where Man and Machine take on Mother Nature down at Hallover Inlet in Miami, Florida. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.